Hey everyone, Jay from Gamers UK back from another Digimon World playthrough. So, uh, in our last playthrough, I believe, I had just recruited Colomon. And so we got our first item manager. Yeah, so pretty cool. So, uh, I'm back in uh, Trouble Jungle at night. Doesn't really matter where I'm from, night or not. Uh, um, basically, come over here just to search for any items. Like over here. And um, show you where I've been training. I've learned uh, a couple of new fire techniques from on a chrome one. I got Spitfire, as you already know, Heat Laser, and Red Inferno. Which uh, Heat Laser is a bit, is all right, but is a lot of MP for that much of damage. Considering Spitfire is only a little bit weaker and it has considerably less MP. Um, Red Inferno, a lot more, a lot more power. Uh, a lot more MP, but I think it's worth it for a stronger technique, you know, just train your MP, make sure your MP is high enough. I still need to do that. Um, and also, if you've noticed, I have trained my champion higher stats. Um, I was trying to get Me Metal Greymon, my ultimate Digimon, but it looks like I'll end up either I'll either die, shamefully, <laughs> poor Digimon will die of old age, or, um, or I might be able to get Metal Mummy one. I believe they're the only two. They're the only two Digivolutions, I believe. But if you go over here, and there should be a Basemon over here. Yeah, there we go. You talk to him. Grun, Guru. Something came back to life. What's that then? It's like, huh? What's going on? I used to live in the city. You smell like the city. The city smells. Oh, God. Wow. It's scary. Uh, I left the city and I lost my memory. But thanks to you, I remember everything. Thank you. I'm going back to the city. Of course, I'm sure the city is now more lively than before. It is? Alright. Actually, you kind of lied, and it's actually not very lively at the moment. <laughs> but, um, he's another item manager. He does kind of get useless over time. Well, I mean,. As you recruit more item management, he just sort of goes away. Same with Colomon, they just get non. I suppose you could say they're just not very good. But, um. Ooh, get away from them. But yeah, he's basically another item management. He just sort of increases, um. the amount of items that, um, you can get now. I think it doesn't matter whether you speak to Betamon or Colomon, I think they both have the same items. I'm not 100% sure. So don't take my word for it. Right. So if we, I'll show you up here, and um, I uh, trained on I think they're dark Rizmons. Because it's sort of just well, it's been dark. Chances are I might not be able to find them until it's in the day, but I think there might be two. So if we go over here, if we cross our way through, um, oh, I was hungry. Cross our way through to tropical jungle up here at the top. And I believe it should be a place called Overdale, which is, um, well, not really a jungle, more of a sort of like a wasteland, a sort of outsider um, cemetery that you can go in later on. Damn, this guy is hungry. Losing all my meat all in one go. See, that's the thing about champions. All right. Hopefully, that'll keep him quiet for a while. Yeah. So Overdale. So I think there's. Yeah, there they are. So basically, I thought, well, there's one. Should be one up here as well. Yep. So, because you can fight more than one at a time, which you probably realised. Which is pretty cool. But yeah, I basically battled these guys to learn a few fire techniques. I just thought it was the quickest way at the moment. Because they've got the most, in my opinion, they've got the most that you can learn at the moment. Yep, and that's a nice technique as well. Which I thought was slightly odd, but yeah. So that's Redferno in, a in action, and that's Heat Laser that the other one used. Another good thing about those two techniques is that if you use Red Inferno in the right place, it can actually hit multiple enemies, and Heat Laser can almost hit multiple enemies no matter where you are. It just depends if they block or not. 
also can make them turn into a cartoon version of themselves. That's right. You can make them turn into a cartoon version of themselves. Pretty crazy. Which means their damage and their techniques, they, they can't really use a technique, they just lose a little crappy 15 damage. Uh. Oh, one's gone. Oh, can I finish him off with my new finisher? There we go. Doesn't do that much on these guys, but I think it's because they're all fire types, I think. Yeah, done a lot more, but that's probably because I've trained them. Yeah, I hope I get a Metal Grey Mom. But I think it's one of the hardest to get, you see, because it's a fairly good Digimon. Because there is special bonus conditions, which can also... can really help, like, um, battle them 30 times for Metal Greymon. I've battled, I think, that was my 21st, so I've got 9 more battles. And, in reality, I've only got one day to do it in. And, I've got to get stats up. Quite a bit. The offence is fairly close to where I want it, but um, yeah. But next up we should be heading up in Drill Tunnel, so I'll get back to you in the map. Right, welcome back guys. So uh, yeah, we're in Native Forest right now, and we're now heading off to uh, Drill Tunnel. So we go down here, right from the beginning of uh, where the city is. If you go over here, so basically it says rock slide blocked for the road. So it says Mount Panorama there, we can't go there yet. So we head to Drill Tunnel and see what's going on, basically. Cause of mischief. Oh yeah. And a battle. Couple of battles. But the second one will take a while to get to for a little while. Yes, Drill Tunnel. Drill Tunnel in Japanese, so let's go in. There's some, uh, I believe some Gaburamons hanging about. They're rough nuts, or they think they're rough nuts, hard nuts, or whatever. Well, I'll just get past that guy. Yeah, there should be three in here, in the drill tunnel second floor. They're just there. You can train them. They they have Magma Bomb, Spitfire, and Sonic Jab. It's always handy to get Magma Bomb, but I don't think this guy here can use it. But if we go over here, to the left, there should be a deranged... Drum, Drumojimon. Is it Drumojimon? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. As you can see, panic overload. The heat is getting to him. It's hot. Do something. Call him down with cold water. I don't know. Oh, wait. We don't have any. It's too hot. Can't take any more. Take it anymore, so he's going to attack you. Battle time. Champion. First champion, I believe. So, yeah. He's not too difficult. But it is a bit of a challenge, if you're new to the game. Oh yeah! Oh, I think I've won! My one just loves using Red Inferno. I have no idea why. I guess they just tend to use the strongest move all the time. And then you realise you've like got no MP. But when your stats are high enough, you can make, make it so you, you can decide what technique they actually use. But it's normally when you're an ultimate, because if you trained it when you're a champion, you'd probably have to train brains and no other stats. Because by the time you trained all the other stats, you'd either digivolve or die. So it's almost a bit of a rush, really, to uh, get the kind of Digimon you to digivolve and everything. You'll probably always get champion, though. No doubt you'll always get champion, but it'll be harder to get an ultimate. But you'll need to get one at a time, so... My tip, I guess I'd say, would be to, um... Train them as high as you can, as quick as you can, really. And, um... Chips can help, if you can find chips. And try different bonus conditions, such as happiness 95% or more. Um... 30 more battles. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you're really determined and you think you can do it, like I'm trying to do, but I haven't done it yet, then, uh... Hey, go right ahead. So we're gonna go past. We're gonna um, go past these guys and go over here. And basically, it should be a tunnel. I don't think it shouldn't. It should be closed at the moment. Basically, we're trying to get this one to uh, open it. It's nearly done. Yeah. So if we basically we talk to him. There we go. Yeah. This tunnel has been opened yet. It hasn't been opened. I should say. Don't get in our way. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. Do you need some help? He's like, I don't know. It will take a while. 
There's a problem, can we help? Are you trying to steal our fun? Okay, you have fun drilling rocks? Well, I know it's Jamojamon, but still. Actually have fun drilling? Okay. What is it? Why would you need an automatic drill when I've got a drill on my nose? But, yeah, pretty crazy. But, it's Jamojamon's cool Digimon. It's actually why I quite like him, actually. He's got a drill, a lethal drill. Yeah, basically, dug up that dirt, and he's like, yeah, you can carry it out, and I'm like, slave driver. But, the good thing is, he will pay you, and he does raise your stats. So, in that respect, it can be worth it. So, if you want to do this, you can. I'll just show you, basically, what it is, and then I'll, I'll skip most of it. But, I think, normally, you, normally when it gets to the bottom, it's normally finished. It sort of depends on what the day is for you. Like, I'll have to see where I am. At the moment, it's uh, day 11 for me. Because I've been training and whatnot. But, um, yeah. If you finish, you basically just take it out to the end of the tunnel. If you finish, and it's not open yet, you'd probably come back in a few days or so. Maybe a couple of days. Or just keep coming back back and forth, really, just until it's open. But it shouldn't take too long. Because where he's at at the moment, he's basically to the point where he's almost done. Yeah, dump the dirt. But this is a good place if you want to raise your stats fairly quickly. I think it's only uh, certain stats, so like two or three stats it raises. But it raises up on five, I think. Is it five? Or it might be a bit more, I'm not sure. Which isn't fantastic, 